Okay, um, I'm making this video in response to some clown's comment over on uh, overunity.com. Um, also, that place seems to be turning to crap at the moment. But anyway, um, it was claimed by this member that I deliberately bodged the test so as this magnet motor wouldn't work. Now, first I'd like to say is who in their right mind wouldn't want to be the first person on earth to show a working magnet motor? Who would actually try and bodge something like this? Sure enough, there's people out there that make fake ones that show running ones, but who would make one specifically not to run? Makes no sense. So his claim is that because I'm using a Neo in the middle, regardless of the poles, the north pole of our ceramic magnet, will stick to the north pole of the neo magnet because the neo strength will overcome the ceramic strength of the magnetic field of the ceramic magnet and cause the ceramic magnet to stick um, to the like pole of the neo and also the south side of our other ceramic magnet or the north side is going to stick to the south side which of course it will so here I have the same setup as before um, the white dots of course indicate north, we will take it all apart and um, check it with our compass so as you can see what's going on and on our stator magnet here I'll have a white dot on the north face as well so we all know which magnet's doing what. So this north is going to be attracted to the south side of our stator magnet as we well know it will be. But apparently this one's going to be attracted to it as well um, and that's how I deliberately um, designed this machine not to work apparently um, knowing full well that this magnet here would overcome the uh, strength of our weaker ceramic magnet cause a pole flip and um, the ceramic magnet um, the north side of our ceramic magnet was going to stick to the north side of our uh, Neo magnet, which of course it doesn't. So perhaps you should learn a little about magnets. This magnet here, um, being very flat and very thin, um, is not enough to cause our ceramic magnet to stick to said neo magnet. So um, what I can do is we'll take this magnet out. You can see I have a big large white dot there. Um, we'll grab our compass here. South needle is pointing to the north face of our magnet. If I flip the magnet over like so, you can see we have our south side. Each one of these rotor magnets, I'll put this one right down the back there, north, north, I hope you can see that. I'll do that again. North, north, and the same on this side again. North and north. And as you can tell, those magnets are repelling each other. So the poles are the same. So our south side was this side of our stator magnet. So we can remove this here wheel. Now we're going to have one wheel course with north we are going to take our stator magnet with the white dot and put it back in there so now we have north and north and apparently this magnet is supposed to stick to that because the big powerful neo is going to overcome our little weaker ceramic one and um, this ceramic one is going to be attracted to it that's how I was supposed to have bodged up the whole deal. So we'll put it right there, like so, and let it go and see what happens. Once again, now I see no attraction there at all. You can clearly see it's repelled that way and that way because it's going backwards and forwards. Now he says 
If I take a weaker ceramic magnet, I'll have another one here. Our little white dot there is north. Once again, get our compass. We'll hold our compass here, bring our white dot towards it, and it attracts the white half of the needle, which of course is south, like poles attract. So we take our standard magnet and our north one here, and he says if I push it on there, like so, it's hard up against each other, and now that magnet is stuck to our uh, big strong neo. So I'm going to let this magnet go. Oh, what happened? <clears throat> now I've lost it. Let me go hunt it and find it. I took off and shot off on the floor over here somewhere. Uh, under the bench. Oh, it looks like it's gone forever. But as you can see, that certainly didn't stick. No problem, we've got some more here. It's got the white dot on it. Get our compass. Once again, you can see the compass is stuck north, south. In fact, I have a whole heap of them here. White dot, north, south. Not very good when you're tilting the compass like that. White dot is north, south. Once again, push that on there, like so, let it go, and it took off again. So as you can clearly see, said claimant of my botched test, calling me some sort of dis disinformation agent, um, to wreak havoc on all these tests and uh, do my best to disprove them so as others don't go and build them and succeed. It's just absolute garbage. So um, you might want to step back and have a little rethink about your comments before you go opening your mouth and making them. So I hope that clears that up. I said little ceramic magnets certainly do not stick to our larger, stronger neo magnet. <clears throat> these ceramic magnets are quite strong they are quite good quality um, if it was a bigger stronger neo magnet and a weaker ceramic magnet I would agree with you that it would stick but in this case it certainly does not and I did not try and bodge this test up because I as much as anyone else would love to be the first person to present a working magnet motor um, now the other thing we need to clarify, this setup here in no way represents um, the outcome of the inventor's original setup because it is different, this is my spin on it and um, I just wanted a rotary version instead of linear slides which is quite complicated to make so this in, way, in no way reflects as to whether or not the other system will work this was just my take on it and I need to make that very clear so there you have it um, there was no bodging the test up I have been working with magnets for quite some time now I do know their limitations and which magnets to use in what situation and um, that's about the size of it so yeah, I hope that clears that up with everybody. I in no way tried to uh, make this test not work. In fact, I spent a lot of time trying to make it work. Um, in this situation, it simply doesn't. So there's been uh, comments we should add more magnets to the rotor. Um, that's really not going to make any difference. If you can't get it to work with a couple, you're not going to get it to work with a thousand. Equal and opposite forces are still existent in this design of mine, um, which, like I said, does not represent the results that may be had from the inventor's original design. Thanks for watching, and uh, yes, we're going to go and stick some more magnets on there anyway and have a go. Um, I believe I already know the outcome, but some have requested it, so that's what we're going to do. They should be arriving this week sometime. Um, 
they're neos um, in this case not quite as thick but a little bit stronger so we'll see what happens there thanks for watching guys